Daddy's Kitchen. Daddy, I feel like it's been so long since I said that intro. Yeah. But it's only been, I think, a month because we kind of bulk shot a lot of our videos because I was out of the country before, but we're back in the kitchen and it feels great to be here with you guys, our family. Daddy, you look good. Thank you come you. in with another Bob Marley Thank shirt. Come sure. on, look at the colors. Is there anything in the back? They might go tired if you see me face. <laughs> Let me see yeah, the back. get me out of the race. What song is that? Bob. Okay, very nice top, very, very nice top. You know we have to shout out our, our friend Janice White, who is in the flea market at, what is it, Warden and Eglinton Warden and in Scarborough yeah. at Merchant Flea Market. You guys are always asking about these shirts and you can reach out to Janice White. She's in aisle five at the Merchant Flea Market in Scarborough. So go check her out and tell her we sent you. But we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to get straight into this because this one is very bougie. This one's very exclusive. This one's very top of top. And I don't think you've ever made this for us, Daddy. No. No. Okay, so Daddy, without further ado, tell the people then where we are cooked today. We are cooked some roast lamb. Roast Lamb, are you crazy? What am I saying? Very bougie, okay. <laughs> I don't know that, like, I didn't grow up uh, eating lamb. It's very, very different, well, but Daddy... I love lamb. And you cooked it a lot in your, yeah. like, you know, chefing days. Yes. Well, your chefing days haven't ended, clearly. But, you know, when you were working for the man. Lamb chops, <laughs> roast lamb. Yes, yes. Okay. Anyway, you can want to cook it. You, you're here for it, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, Daddy, I'm just going to get straight in. Let's get straight into it. So, so okay, these are all the seasoning I'm going to use and herbs. Okay, so did you wash? Yes, I wash my lamb with vinegar and water. Vinegar and water. Why you do that, Daddy? Yes, you have to wash your meat. Yes. Make it clean. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. Wash your meat, guys. Wash your meat. Don't... Don't, don't listen to this, oh, the heat is gonna get, and I get it, okay, the science of it all, but why are you going out of your way not to wash the meat? Wash the meat, no man, please. Okay, this lamb is all meat, no bones in it. Okay. It's a roast. It's a roast. And you see the mesh is over it, just to keep it in place. So are you gonna take that off right now? No, you'll no. take this off when you cook it, when it's finished cooked. When it's finished cooked, that's yes, when it comes because off? because if you take this off before you cook it, you're gonna fall apart, you're gonna open up. And it's unravel, and you don't yeah. want that. Because yeah, you yeah. kind of want it to remain a roast. Yeah. Okay. That you can slice it okay. when it's finished. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Okay. Okay. All this right. All my seasoning black pepper, Mrs. Dash, mm -hmm. ginger, garlic powder, soul, all purpose, mm -hmm. and flavorized. Flavor rice. Adita, Adita, basil, oregano, and parsley. parsley. So basil, and I, oregano, and parsley. And I have some thyme that I put inside here. Okay, so all of those. So sorry, what is the measurement? It's a teaspoon. Half tablespoon. Each half tablespoon of half, each of half, these, you guys. Half tablespoon each of the powder seasoning. Okay. A tablespoon of the herbs. Oh, and a tablespoon Natural of the herbs. The herbs. Okay. okay. And you just mixed it all up into mixed this bowl. It all up. Okay, that's pretty easy. And I have some garlic, fresh garlic here. I'm gonna put some oil in here, in the meat. Oh. And I'm gonna put my garlic in it. Okay. Right inside of it. For flavor. For flavor. Okay. All right. I'm punching some holes. So when's the first time you ever cooked lamb, Daddy? Do you remember? At work. At work. At work. Did you do like the lamb chops or? Do the lamb roast, just like this, and then you the lamb, do the lamb chops. Okay. Uh, the lamb chops is on the menu. Okay. So I have to do that every day. Okay. Yeah, it's very good, nice, awesome. Yeah, when... no, I only recently like going to Greek restaurants, cause I don't know, I've been into Greek lately. But like, if you go to a Greek restaurant, I find that they have 
uh, lamb chops on the menu often, or yes. like little lamb pieces. Different ways. Different of ways. Co cooking it. And I tried it with a friend of mine, and I was like, wow, this is actually very delicious. Awesome. Benny, let me see. Let me see. let's see, because I'm trying to make sure. Okay, see y'all. Okay. Poke it right into the hole. Okay. Okay. Did I see that? Get that flavor rolling. Because the last thing you want is this big old piece of meat to taste like nothing. Okay. Okay. So when this cook, all the flavors of the garlic stays right in it. Love me some garlic, that's for sure. And garlic is very good for you. Okay. So where do you get like a piece of meat like this? Costco. Oh, Costco. Okay, nice. Could you go to like a butcher? Because I know some people don't go to Costco. You could go to a butcher for it too, right? Yes. Okay. And they would have it wrapped the same way? Have it wrapped and you have it um, like uh, ribs. Okay. Yep. Well, Daddy, you ain't playing with that flavor, huh? You ain't playing with the flavor. No. I'm flavor flavor. Flavor your flavor flavor. <laughs> <laughs> you know that, Daddy? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Shout out to Flavor Flavor building. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, funny guy. Funny guy. Okay, I'm going to season it now with my powder season. Okay. You just pour it on. Press it. And press. Yep. Turn. I guess pressing is like a big thing. Yeah. You, you, you want it there. See, there's a stick to it. I would sprinkle it into those little cracks. Yeah, if you can get it in. Oh, guys. This already looks good. I don't know. Because... Maybe because I know what Daddy can do with it or what it's about to become. It just looks good even when it's raw. And you know, there's another trick with this. What's you that can trick? have breadcrumbs with parsley in it and uh, rosemary. And just, you wet that, that breadcrumbs with, with oil, mm -hmm. olive oil. Mm -hmm. And you put it right on there with the breadcrumbs. And what does the breadcrumbs do? Gives crunchy. it like a crunchy outer yeah. layer. Outer layer. Ooh, Daddy, that's nice. busting. Next time we have to try that. Yeah. And we'll bake it. That's a really good idea. Guys, look at that lamb roast. Come on now. All of mercy. Come on now. This looks so good. Lad. Ready See. for dinner. There's not a lot of salt in this. No, so I don't use no salt. So guys, yes, um, like we're being even more careful with salt. Um, so there's no salt here, guys. No we salt. Don't, we don't do salt. We don't do salt. Okay. Salt is the enemy right now. <laughs> if you want to use it, you can use it. But yes, but you can, don't don't overdo it. Yes, you can you can use whatever you want. To be very honest. But over here, we're really trying to, you know, live long. So, we're kicking the salt to the left. To the left, to the left. Okay. Y'all know that song, Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have a pot here with some oil in it. Okay. Daddy, pot. use some gloves. So, I'm going to put my rose in it just to brown it. Okay. Both sides. So you're browning it. So why didn't you just put it straight into the oven? Yeah, because I want it to have some nice color. Okay. Nice brown color. Okay. And I don't want to make it stay in the oven too long. Because lamb is not something you overcook. It okay. may get tough on you. Okay, so... So if I brown it right now, it partially cook a little away. And then I finish off in the oven. Mm -hmm. At least um, three quarter hour. Okay. Forty-five three. minutes. <laughs> three quarter hour. 
Okay. But it's AKA 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so that's smart. So basically, you're just kind of nuking it yes. first, yes. giving it color, and then finishing it off in the, in the oven the because it'll be too tough yeah. if you do it the other way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait in the oven to cook the way you want. Look at that, y'all. Look on the roast. And my fire is high. My stove is on so high. So the stove is on high, guys. You don't want to make this stay too long and fry. Brown. Just brown color. You just want to catch the color. And that's it. Nothing too extensive. Yeah, you see it getting there? Okay. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Mm, it smells so good. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. So, what, should they be worried if it looks a little like, you know, See how you have those little burnt pieces and stuff? This is just a seasoning. It's a seasoning, so the seasoning is going to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. So, and I turn turn on this stove. I turn on this stove to medium. Okay. So turn your stove down just so that it doesn't do that Brown so fast. Hot. But I also see the little garlic. Yeah, that's the garlic inside. Something out there. Just them back to me. It smells so good, Daddy. Yeah, nice. Super nice. I can't wait. You have to wait. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so now it's time to put it in the pan. How long would you say it's been in the pot, Daddy? Uh, five, six minutes. Five, six minutes. Yeah. Look at that, you guys. If you guys, I wish I could give you guys a scratch and sniff type of feature. YouTube, work it out because it should be illegal being able to smell this without you guys. You guys should be able to smell what The Rock is cooking. Hold on, mercy. <laughs> when, so, I, when we were younger, that's, daddy, that's all Daddy used to watch. Do you smell what, what The, the rock, rock is cooking? cooking? <laughs> Give me a high. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> okay. All right. My oven is 350. 350. We going in. So that you know oil, no oil, no nothing on it. Nope. Just as is. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask this question then. What is a perfect thing to go with a, a lamb roast like this? What are we What are we gonna make as our side? Roast potato. Roast potato. Yeah, roast potato. You can have mashed potato. You, you can, can have, have rice. rice. Okay. Whatever you choose. But we doing the roast potatoes today. Yes. Because Daddy makes a mean roast potato. We've owed them a tutorial on that. By Didn't the way. Didn't I do that already? I don't think we did. I think we said that we would, but we're failing in that area. Okay, Daddy, we're failing. No, we never fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're sweating. Go, 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 go yeah. cool off. Go cool off. Because I'm working. Me know, me know, me know. Okay, I'm going to put in my potatoes. Guys, look at these potatoes. Let us know. Isn't it giving Greek? Is it not giving Greek potatoes? Like, come on. Look how good these look. So what I do, I put these potatoes, I peel them, mm -hmm. cut them up. Mm -hmm. Put them in the, in the water mm -hmm. with a little salt and mm -hmm. boil it mm -hmm. for at least two minutes. Okay. I just we call it blanch. Okay. So it's like this. Put it still a little bit hard. But not too hard. They're gonna finish off in the oven. Yeah. Guys. And I finished off in the oven. And I use the same season that I put on the lamb. On the potatoes. On the potatoes. Okay, okay, okay. So are we gonna check up on the lamb right now? Yes. Okay. So potatoes going in. Lamb coming out for a check. Ooh, look at that lamb calling my name. Sasha. 
Still not cook yet. You can see that? Spongy. Okay. Okay? That's what you test your meat. Still spongy. Still raw inside. Okay. So you're gonna give it at least half an hour more. Okay. It's been in for what, about a half an hour now? Or more? Yeah. A little, a little about bit 25 more. Twenty five minutes. No. Okay, about twenty five to half an hour. Yeah. And usually typically something like this would take about an hour, you said? Yes, yeah, about an hour. Okay. Depends on how the temperature you want it. Well, you want it medium well, rare, rare, medium doing, well. We're doing medium well, right? We're doing medium well. So okay. it's going to take a little more time. Okay. If it's doing well done, it's going to take at least two hours. Okay. okay. All right. Let's and, and your lamb is not good to cook. Well done. Mm -mm. Tough okay. like a something. Tough. Tough, 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 tough. And you don't want that. You want a nice juicy, juicy piece of lamb. Daddy insists on not using the gloves, you know? Insists. We don't get no burn. Mm-hmm. Very Jamaican of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check again. Yeah, man. Okay, you see? First time it was soft, now it's... Okay. All right? Yeah, I definitely see the difference there. Ooh. It's good. Mm -hmm. Look upon that, guys. Look upon that. Oh, wow. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna leave this to set. What do you about mean by About 15 minutes, make it rest. 15 minutes to rest? 15 to 20 minutes, make it rest. And set. Oh, and look, set. Look, there's blood. There's blood in it still. Yeah. I just saw that. I know they just saw that. Y'all just saw that. I mean, we're going to leave a little bit of blood in there, but I don't know if it's going to be that much. So maybe it needs to be in there a little longer. Not true, daddy. Yeah, I can see. But we don't want it to get tough. Oh, but that side didn't really have... Well, yeah, a little bit. Okay, what I'm gonna do, so juicy. What I'm gonna do, <laughs> what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it back for five to ten minutes. Okay. Come in, I like the blood thing. You need a little bit, just a just little, a little bit. bit. I'm not like the juiciness. Blood thing. So, okay. I'm gonna put it back for five minutes. 10 to 15? No. Five to ten minutes. Five to ten, all right. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that. We'll look at our potatoes. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna cut the net off. So it's been cooling for about 15 minutes, right, Daddy? Yes. Came out of the oven after that five to ten minute re up. And now we're releasing the beast. It looks so good, guys. It smells even better. Yeah. Oh my god, mm. look at that. Look at that. This is so interesting to me. I've never seen this done. Mm. Look on the roast. See how this piece of garlic here? You don't make this go to waste. You're just gonna eat the whole garlic like that? Mm -hmm. It's good for you. Ew, daddy. I, I love garlic, but not to eat the whole clove. Not the whole clove, though. Alright, I can't wait to cut in there. I feel like it's still gonna be more on the bloody side. Why do you think so? I don't know. We'll okay. see. Where your top boat? Oh my god. Where your top boat? That looks so yummy. We are that boat. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, don't get gassed. Perfect. Watch when you get more to the middle. Wow, guys. Wow. Perfect. Wow. Can, can I 
Did see the garlic? Look. Oh, look at the garlic, guys. Look at the garlic cloves. Look, 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 look. See that right there? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Hopefully, you guys can't hear me salivating right now. <laughs> this smells so good. So, Daddy, mm -hmm. you said that, like, traditionally... Um, see, it's a little more on the on the medium side there. And I think that's, that's good. That's good. No, that's great. That's I love awesome. It. Um, what was I going to say to you? Uh, you said that, they're, like, traditionally... They mint a mint sauce. Goes mint with sauce. It go, goes very well with it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not into that. I, I probably shouldn't knock it before. Are you giving piece? that to me? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Please. Wait there. Wait there. Thanks. Wow. Mommy, you want peace? Mm -mm. Comfy, no? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. That's delicious. That's definitely delicious. Definitely delicious. Mm -hmm. No, okay, you can just take a piece, mommy. Then you just gave me a little piece. Mommy, no, mommy, no want to be on camera. Where is she? Come on down. The prize is right. <laughs> delicious, right? Mm -hmm. I want yeah, that mint nice. <laughs> Okay. <thank> you. <laughs> Juicy. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I guess I shouldn't knock the mint sauce before I try it. If you know lamb, I tell them to buy lamb. Oh, we don't really like lamb. We don't really like how it tastes. You say because? Yeah, because some mm. people's lamb, it's like, maybe I smell their lamb and it's just so like, I don't know, lamby. <laughs> I don't get how to explain it. But when, oh, I, had it, it, when I had it at the... Uh, yeah, I <laughs> when I had it at the Greek restaurant, it was really good. But I feel like yours is even better. See, it's bloodier on this side, Daddy. Told you, it's giving medium. It's all good. I think it's good too, I'm not gonna lie, it's juicy. But my piece, I'll come from this side. <laughs> Delicious. All right, so we're cutting this up, Daddy. I guess we gotta go prepare their plate. Yes, my people, I'm gonna share your plate. Oh my gosh, what side y'all want? You want this side or you want this side? Tell us down in the comments if you're more of a uh, medium well side or a medium side or a medium rare side. I don't know if this is medium rare, this is more medium, but tell us what you would like your lamb at. How do you like it cooked? And we'll prepare your plate in the meantime. Lord of mercy. <laughs>